Ilia Horaeus men care uvea na aicare lumenen jan mena antena. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. Hope my Elvish wasn't too bad at the beginning. So, Sybil is Xenatol highlighted with some matte black. Then a 45 degree angle of skeleton bone and a top spray of matte white. We're starting off with some elven flesh and this could be for her face and her hands. I hope you're enjoying these videos folks and if you want to support me, hit this link that's showing up right here and it's in the description. Send me a virtual tip. I mean this hobby is expensive eh? and a little bit of always goes a long way, right? So Sybil is actually originally from the Massive Darkness 1 board game, but she got a crossover or an upgrade pack, I should say, with um, Massive Darkness 2. So I'm including her in my Massive Darkness 2 paintings. She is a ranger as well, uh, just like uh, Nahias was. And yeah, so we're starting on there. We're going to be using some Malignant Green, but take a look at this. Look at that. When it's not well shaken, it just sits there. And boy, did I shake that sucker. So what we did is we mixed some Malignant Green, some Fairy Dust, and some Medium... Um, some Speed Paint Medium, sorry. And it was uh, two drops of the speed paint, one drop of the medium, and one drop of fairy dust. Because I wanted her to have this really light green armor, just like in the artwork. And I think it looks fantastic. It has a little glitter to it. And now I'm using the malignant green now on the rest of her armor on the on her chest plate and all that. Uh, just to keep that same kind of green. But like it because of the fairy dust and the medium, it really stayed light. Next, I'm actually using an instant color, Belladonna Green. Uh, you know, the bottle looked a lot darker, and these instant colors, I'm not always a fan of. Some of them I really don't like. I mean, this one, it barely even shows, so I'm going to fix this up later on. This will be a good base for what I'm going to do later. Some Gravelord Grey now, another speed paint from the Army Banner. This is going to be for her bow. Her bow was very, uh, just gray color. There wasn't much to it. This is perfect for an elf, right? Dark Wood. Another speed paint here, and we're going to be doing her hair. Um, I gotta be honest, I love using dark wood for hair. I really find, especially if you do a zenith hauling, but just with even just white, because the top part here I did spray with white really closely so that it would give that real light sense on the top. Uh, I just find dark wood comes out a perfect color for hair, especially brown hair. Just, you know, and it actually goes on really well. Uh, and yeah, you know what? I didn't have that much problem this time with reactivation either. And once it dries really well, I don't think you have to be worried about that. Crusader skin, even though I said this is my least favorite speed paint, I used it on her skin because she has very pale skin. And with that elvish flesh underneath, it actually came out pretty nice. Camo cloak is our next speed paint here. We're going to be doing this on her quiver as well as on her dagger sheath. Now, I'm a little surprised how dark this one is. I didn't, I thought I used this one before. I'm pretty sure I did. And I was sure it was going to look more like the Malignant Green than what it does here. I find it a little dark for camo. Anyways, Hardened Leathers next. We're doing this for her belt and some straps and these little things that she has around her waist. Not much more than that, folks. Sand Golem is up next. We're going to be doing the, the Feathers of the Arrows as well as the Hilt of her Dagger. And then we're going to be using some Coelia Green Shade. This is from Citadel. It's a shade. We're going to be putting this on top of where we used that Belladonna Green. And as you can see, this is the leafy green color I kind of wanted. I was hoping from the Belladonna. But having this green shade is perfect on there and it was, it was great. Now to just put on a little few little details, some necrotic flesh, just to get some of the straps on her quiver and a few of the little designs there. Not much more, just a little highlighting. And we'll have Sybil all ready and painted. And there you go, folks. She's all done. I hope you enjoyed these videos. I hope you're enjoying the Massive Darkness series. If you are, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you all in the next one.